Arsenal will need all hands on deck if they are to overturn what is already an unlikely deficit to Manchester City. Having put the pressure on Pep Guardiola's men with a strong 2-0 victory against Newcastle the gap is back down to one point. Should City win their game in hand then they would move to within two games of winning the title once again, though. It is no longer in hands of Mikel Arteta and his side but they are doing their bit to push it down to the wire. That was helped by the fitness of Gabriel Magalhaes. The Brazilian had been a worry before the Newcastle game after being taken off with injury against Chelsea earlier in the week. His immediate return to the team coincided with another victory. Alongside him was Polish defender Jakub Kiwier. He was preferred to Rob Holding in the absence of William Saliba. The Frenchman has now been out for nearly two months and is running out of time to return before the end of the season as Arteta had hoped. Not a lot of progress, he said on the 21-year-old. He's feeling better every day but he's still not been able to have any activity around the first team so we don't expect him to be with us, the Spaniard explained. We are not there yet today, ruling him out for the season because we're always hopeful and players are pushing to play. If that's the case at some stage we'll announce it. But hopefully that's not the case. It's a tricky test against Roberto de Zerbi's ever impressive Brighton side next on the agenda for Arsenal and Saliba isn't expected to be making it make that fixture either, leaving him just two games left. Outside of that, the only two other absentees with injury are long-term cases. Both Takahira Tomiyasu and Mohamed Elneny will be sidelined until next season at least. City have their own issues to contend with. Nathan Ake was taken off in the two goals to one win against Leeds having only come back from another worrying knock picked up in the Champions League a fortnight earlier. I didn't speak with the doctor but apparently if he asked to, you know, we will see in the next days, Guardiola said. His team are in action before Premier League action resumes once again as they travel to Real Madrid for the first leg of their Champions League tie against Real Madrid. Arsenal fans will be on the lookout for other injury hints for City with Kevin De Bruyne heavily rotated in past few weeks, too.